Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Redhead Goes Healthy. So I mentioned this in my video yesterday. I have three weeks left on my 12 week keto journey. And instead of just uploading one video a week, I've decided to upload a video every single day for the final three week stretch. What I'm going to do, each each day will have a theme. I'm not gonna make it a blog. I'm, I'm really impressed with those of you who are able to make vlogs, like daily vlogs. I, I just can't do that. I can't carry around my phone and film everything. I just don't have the patience for it. That's the truth. So instead, I have this quote book that I have showed you guys before, where basically every single day, I have been ripping a post-it note off and underneath is a quote. So today is day 65 and I am going to reveal the quote that I wrote like 14 weeks ago, and I'm just gonna reflect on it for a little bit. The most effective way to do it is to do it. Ah, you know, that quote actually like really applies to what happened this morning, which I actually did manage to film parts of. All right guys, <laughs> I woke up early just to go on this 90 minute peloton ride so i'm about to do that i'm still a little bit sleepy i had some coffee to wake myself up but i'm pretty sure this 90 minutes will wake me up and do the trick i'm not that hungry I can't eat bananas. <laughs> Woo. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that was exhausting, but I really, I did it. I did it. And now I'm going to go take a shower and get ready for this lovely Saturday. So that was a, a 90 minute Peloton ride. I burned 947 calories, I think. I feel fine right now. I think my body's gonna give out later, but I think that the only way that I was able to do that was to wake up and do it. So I think that's what this quote is telling us, that sometimes I feel like we can get so paralyzed, like paralysis by analysis. That's actually a quote from Matt Wilpers, the guy on the Peloton. I love it though, because so many times I have these really big goals that I set for myself, or I have these big projects that I wanna accomplish and do, and they're so big that I actually can't get started. Part of that I think is because I am a bit of a, a perfectionist, and so I procrastinate a lot, and then I will overthink, and I'll think, well, if I can't do it perfectly, I'm not even gonna try. And then with diets and sort of wanting to lose weight and, and starting a keto journey or whatever journey that you're on, I feel like we always say, I hope people can relate to this, I'm just gonna start that on Monday. And I cannot begin to tell you how many times I've said, I am just gonna start on Monday. And Monday will come around and nothing will change, nothing will happen because I'm still thinking about starting on Monday. So this quote I think is is really uh, helpful for just, I guess it's that Nike expression, just do it. Like just do it. I saw this uh, helpful tip on TikTok of all places uh, from a psychologist where if you're really you know struggling to start something, you just count to three, you don't think about it and you do it. So for instance, for me, it might be getting up out of bed in the morning, honestly, especially if it's a cloudy day like today, I will say one, two, three, get up. You don't think, you do, you just go for it, you just go. And that has been actually really helpful because the more I think about it, the less chances there are that I'm actually going to do it. So I think this whole journey has been motivated by that idea. Uh, even thinking of 12 weeks is, is a very long time. That's all I got for you today. I'm gonna try to do this every day. I'm not gonna think about it, I'm just gonna do it. Um, and uh, I hope that you all are crushing your goals. And if you wanna leave a comment below to let me know, like, you know, if that quote resonated with you, I would love to hear from you. Have a great day.